Wait. Okay. Conducting the Brahms uh, with this orchestra and conducting with other orchestra, what's the difference? I mean, first of all, they they offer a, a beautiful sound, and we tried to, to try to play it a little more conscious, maybe as they were used to do it. But the sound is very wonderful for Brahms. It's a very warm sound, and that's what Brahms is really really needs. And the uh, continuation, the wave feeling that you have in the first movement. The wave feeling we we found now after three days, and I'm very happy about that. What about the triangle, which is he's playing? He's playing well. <laughs> I, know, I still remember when I heard the first time, I remember as young man I had Pierre Monteux yeah. doing it and he was very anxious that Frankl would be sound because Brahms wanted it. Huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what about Farben Chaim? How, how do you find his music which you have never conducted? In the I've never conducted it before. I think it's, it's very interesting because he tries to approach, of course, an approach for like coming from here towards this highly gedeutsche music, yeah, Protestant holy music, uh -huh. and I think this mixture makes very much sense, and mm -hmm. he understands it very well, that's what I found out. Mm -hmm. and, and he, yeah, I'm, I'm still, yeah, I think he wants to say something that <clears throat> this music is past, okay. it's beautiful, but it's the base of what we, what we have, and our music has to be different nowadays. And, but he respects it a lot, and this I like him a lot. Last question. Are you ready to come again to conduct the orchestra? Yes. I think they're very friendly, and they, they try really so hard to make good music. I mean, that's all we want. Maestro, thank you very much. You're welcome. Shamat.